Are you using Microsoft Loop? If not, you are missing out big time. Loop can greatly save you and your team a lot of time at work. Watch this video and see how you can maximize your team efficiency with Microsoft Loop. Here are six types of Loop component. Now, I'm using this Microsoft Loop web-based apps because usually web-based apps will have the latest functions okay, or features. So let's jump into looking at this, right? The Loop components. How do you open up the Loop component? It's very simple. Just click the plus button. Okay, or you can just simply click slash. If you like to use keyboard, just use slash, right? Then you can scroll down and select table. Or if you want to, for example, I want to do a, a call out instead of, of uh, scrolling, I can type C, right? And you can see a, a -L -L, call out and then just press enter. So this is one of the general, right? the general components call out means that you want to have like important message you want to tell your teams okay you can put it here yeah, and then you can type simply anything right over here okay so you will have this the next one then is just slash it over here to show you table right table is just like uh, i mean you know excel table you can just do that right and you can uh, change the column type. Okay, you want to be a number or person or date, you can do that. Yeah, so start date and so on. Now, I'll do a separate video on the table because uh, it's one of the most useful components inside Microsoft Loops. Later, I'll tell you more, right? So, you want to add more column or row, you just click here. Okay, next, we're going to look at here you want a checklist, like you want to do a task list, and you can do this, right? Task one, task two, and so on. Then you can click here, right? Complete. So same thing, right? You want the one, you want to add other components, just backspace and then slash. You can have a bullet list, right? Or you can slash or number list. And so on. Now, if you bullet, you can just change it right over here. I okay, can just backspace, and then I just want to have a bullet list. You can do that as well. Okay, so backspace, and then I want to add other things. Now you can have like uh, code this. I don't have to show that mass equation and other things, right? I'll show you table contents in a while. Okay. Now you want to add divider, you can do that divider, then you can have another section right over here. So now you can come back and then I can add more lines right over here, slash, let's say you want to do, if you are a coder programmer, you can add this, okay? And you can change, you say you use C, you can change it, CSS and, and so on. All right, very, very useful. Now, the second part is the text types. So if you scroll down here, this is the general, okay? Then you have text types. So default will be the paragraph or body. Now I can change some of this to the headings, right? Let's say instead of here, I can come back here section, I can always click, right click here. See this headings and list. And I can change this to headings number two. So this will be a section number two. And I can type hello world. Now, if I want to just like bold this, I can do this as well. I can uh, italics and so on. And right click, I can change it to any other types. Okay. Now, let's come back. Let me scroll Put down, right? Remember this side, I just want to show you the table of content. So I can add the table contents right over here. You see that here, table contents, there are only two. One is that I just click here, you can see. So this is, if you just right click over here, you can see this is heading number one. Yeah. And uh, this is heading number two. Okay, so it's a subset between 
this uh, heading, right? So the table content is auto-generated for you. Now, the beauty is that I like this loop. It's, let's say, for example, right over here. I can just highlight all this, and then I can convert this. Let's say, for example, here to heading number two. Okay. Now, let's scroll back to the table content. You see, it automatically generates this for you. So you want to see this like template. I click here, it brings me to here. So you create all the internal links for you automatically. Now, of course, your table of content, let's say, for example, I want this to be on top. You can always move this to the top right over here. And when you go down, I can click here and I can straight go to the section two. So how useful is that, right? So leave a comment if you think that this is uh, useful. Now, next thing is, and I'm going to show you this text out here. You, you guys know what is that, right? Straightforward, right? Now, this is one of the most useful templates, right? If you do not know how to use this as a beginner, let's start with using this. If you create task list, a lot of time share with your team members, you can use this. Yeah, automatically create this task list for you. You want to add more tasks, just add in here. Yeah, select date, everything is preset for you. Very easy. Yeah, now, of course, you can have others. Let me show you another of my favorite, which is called Kanban board. Yeah, this is a Kanban board. Now I can move these cards along to have a uh, different status, right? Now you can have more details right over here. So if you don't know what is Kanban board, then leave a comment right below or watch this video about Kanban that I created earlier using Microsoft Planner. I'll talk about Microsoft Planner in a while. So other than that, the templates, you guys can go and try using that. And let's say you have a Q&A session, you have uh, this voting table, also one of my favorite. You can share this table to your team members and then you can see their votes, right? So what's, well, let's say, and you can uh, add in a location or whatever, and then they can see the votes right over here. Now, once I like to usually share this to the teams and then everyone can vote at the same time, you can see the real time uh, update right over here. Now, these Microsoft components, you can share the whole of these documents, right? Share this and then everyone can come in here and access this. Yeah? Now, if you think that, hey, I don't want to share all this, I want to share only this table, also possible. Just highlight this and then click it. Okay, click this again and then click this create loop component. So I create this loop component. Now I can just come here and share this voting table. And uh, other, those that you share, others can't access to your Kanban board, tasks, and nothing. This is just basically access this voting table. So how cool is that, right? Okay, now, next part will be communication. Now, I'm going to go into details. These are, if you use social media, you know, right? You just add a person to type them, an emoji picture, and so on. Media, you can uh, upload an image from your computers, or you can record a video right over here using the built-in. You can start a screen recording, your cameras, mic, and so on. Then the last part will be Microsoft apps and other apps, right? These are the apps, okay? So here you have a planner and other things like Trello, which is the Kanban. So I'm using Microsoft Planner to track a project. If you're using that, you can uh, attach or insert the Microsoft Planner Kanban board right over here. Now you are not using Kanban board and you can access to Loop. You can start with a simple board like this. Then you can migrate to Microsoft Planner because Microsoft Planner have more functions. So just check out my Microsoft Planner video. You can see that they have dashboard and so on. So I hope this video give you an overall view of what are the components and uh, how do you want to use it. If you have questions, just leave it right below in the comment area and I'll try my best to answer. By the way, I'm Andrew. If you like this video, do share with your colleagues or friends. 
and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified.